Hello from Embedded World in Nuremberg, where we're looking at the field of motor control and ST's long and proud history in that field. Jean-Marc Mathieu has joined me. Let's start by talking about the new motor control ecosystem that utilizes the STM32. Yeah, of course. You know, uh, in the motor control, the trend is moving from basic universal induction motors towards the PMSM motors with field-oriented control. Okay? And there are four main reasons for that. With PMSM motors field-oriented control, you can reduce the noise of the motor, you improve the efficiency, you improve uh, the reliability of the motor, and then you reduce the overall form factor of the motors. Okay? Uh, therefore, ST decided to uh, develop a complete motor control ecosystem. Okay? When we talk about ecosystem, we mean uh, uh, software algorithm, uh, hardware boards, uh, libraries, uh, trainings, documentation, etc., etc. And we are continuously improving this ecosystem. For instance, in 2014, we, uh, we introduced a new version of the ecosystem, the version 4.0, in which we provide more accessibility to the motor control uh, library. Okay? We, uh, bring the, we, we, we give more accessibility to this, uh, to this uh, library, and we provide also new features like the high frequency injection, the HFI, which is very interesting for application which need uh, full torque at low speed or zero speed, application like uh, wet, good, wet goods in home appliances. Doesn't ST already offer a state-of-the-art motor control system? Yeah, you can have the best ever software algorithm. The first step in motor control still remains to start the motor, okay? And to start the motor, you need to have the, you need to know the basic parameter of the motors, I mean, the resistance, the impedance, and the back EMF. Uh, and some people may have some issue to determine, to identify those parameters because, for instance, the specification of the motor is missing or you, uh, uh, you, 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 don't have, you do not have the right equipment to measure those parameters and you may have a lack of know-how or, or lack of experience to measure those parameters. And beside this, it takes time to measure them and it can lead to errors. So, how can developers solve those problems then? Yeah. Uh, very simple. We develop new features, okay, uh, like the motor profiler. In fact, this uh, motor profiler will automatically detect the parameter of the motors, then set up the software library and start the motors. So, in other words, you plug and spin new motors within less than one minute and without any additional equipment. In the same spirit, we develop another feature which is called the one-touch tuning, okay, uh, and the purpose is to uh, set up the speed controller. Uh, according to the load uh, uh, plugged on the motors uh, by changing only one parameter. So, in other words, you tune the motors with only one parameter. Now, these new features are all on the software side of things. What about hardware? Uh, good question about the, the hardware. In fact, with the hardware, we follow exactly the same spirit as we did on the software. Still, to ease the accessibility of the motor control for everyone. So, we develop a new offer the motor control nucleopack. So this nucleopack is made of three different materials, a small low voltage BLDC motor, plus a driver board based on the L6230, and a nucleo board based on the STM32 S3 nucleo, which operates six step and field oriented control solution. And with this material, with this bundle, you will be able to evaluate easily the software solution for the motor control. And it would be very uh, uh, interesting to, uh, uh, to do fast prototyping and for education as well. Jean-Marc Mathieu, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you.